So today is a an interesting day. I always like to share my aha moments when I have private client sessions. Um, <clears throat> things that come up during a session that are just, you know, ooh, they're like gold. They're like gold nuggets. And so today we had a really cool gold nugget about manifesting. And so <clears throat> here's the thing that I hear a lot from people, and that is in order to manifest, you have to bring in the feeling, step into that emotion, imagine that it's already here, it's already happening. And that is actually one way, <clears throat> one way to have that actually happen. The other part is, the, the other side of that coin is, what do you do if you can't feel it? What, if, what do you do if you're sitting there and you're trying to manifest clients and you can't feel it, or it comes up blank, or you have no emotion there, or <clears throat> you can't visualize it, right? So that kind of like, you know, you get to that point and you're just like, well, I guess I can't manifest it because I can't see it, right? So here's the thing that kind of came up, right? All of those tools that you're taught, I don't care who taught them to you, even if it's for me, all of those tools that you, you were taught are tools. There are ways in which to help you get into a feeling vibration in order to get you into an emotional vibration, right? In order to raise your vibration so that you can become an energetic match to the things that you desire. So if you're having, you know, a launch or you're, you're working on clients or you're trying to manifest something and it's not working and you're going to your tools and your tools are like not working or you're trying to manifest the emotion of the outcome of having all these clients come up and it's not working or you're trying to imagine yourself standing on top of the, um, stage and, and giving your speech to other people and having them all receive you and that's not working, right? You can't raise your emotional level or your feeling level to that place or in some cases you just totally go blank, right? Like there's just nothing there. Um, <clears throat> then what do you do, right? Because if manifestation is all about aligning your inner vibration with the way your soul perceives things and feels about your circumstances, then how do you change that? How do you get those vibrations to work for you? How do you think and feel things that just aren't there? So we have a trick for that actually. So there's two, which was really kind of cool when they came up today. So the first thing is, and it works for a lot of people, is doing the visualization and imagining yourself stepping into that future you who's already has it and bringing in those emotions and visualizing the audience or your clients or whatever it is. And then there are some people who they just can't do that. It just doesn't work for them. You know, whether or not you have... Um, trauma sometimes there's some trauma related to that or soul fragment issues or just mindset issues or you know you're just trying and you just can't see it it doesn't matter the idea of the visualization the idea of raising your feelings and moving into the feeling of what it feels like to have what you desire um, all of those tools to see feel experience are to raise your vibration for the desire, the target that you want to achieve. Point number one, the universe already knows what you want, right? It's not like you literally have to write it down on a piece of paper or even speak it out loud. Your energy is already vibrating with the desires that you want to create, right? So it's not like there's any miscommunication going on. The universe knows what you want. Your goal is to become that vibrational match to it so that it can come through. So when you're not feeling 
or can't feel, or it just comes up blank, that can be really frustrating, right? Then you start thinking things were wrong. Oh, there must be something wrong with me. Or, oh, I'm just depressed. Or, um, there's, it's not for me. Or, you know, I told you so. You know, whatever excuses that you come up with. And it may not be the fact that it's just not working for you. It may be the fact that the tool that you're using that everybody's telling you to use just may not be working for you. That you just need a different tool to help you raise your vibration. Right, so today um, we were talking about how can how can we do this, right? So if I can't if I can't visualize um, a full crowded room of people taking my classes and all of these happy faces, and I can't feel that in my energy fields, how can I raise my vibration, become a vibrational match to it, right? <clears throat> And how can I feel, feel, how can I feel good, right, in order to match that energy? And it, it came in so clear, and I was just like, it was so cool, right? So if the universe knows what you want, then all you have to do is raise your vibration and become a match to it. So what if, right, we have a lot of tools over at ElizabethPfeiffer.com, and what if is one of those tools in, in a lot of our programs, but... In this case, what if you got yourself in the zone of feeling good, high vibes, dancing around the room, right? So what happens when we play music that we really like, right? If you play music that motivates you, if you play music that moves you, if you play music that invites you to get up and dance or sing, and you're doing that around your room, you are moving your energy. You are moving your vibration. So what if you switched up your tool and you sat for a minute and you thought about what it is that you wanted? Maybe you wrote it out. Maybe you journaled it. Maybe you did a visualization and you just weren't able to get there. Turn on your music. Turn that on. And as you're dancing around the room and you're raising your vibration, your energy is expanding. Your emotional field is expanding. You're starting to feel the music. You're starting to sing. That energy is reverberating through your entire body and you become a match to the things that you want to create. So, Here's the other thing that came in with it. Do not be attached to your manifestations, right? So it's kind of like when you do the visualization and you see 20 people, right? <clears throat> Getting your energy to be an energetic match to 20 people is not about focusing on the 20 people, right? That's attachment. That's like, I'm going to manifest these 20 people and this is what I'm going to focus on and it's the only way that it's going to come in and all that. That's just like um, tunnel vision focusing. That's tunnel manifestation, right? Because you're only focused on one thing. And so trying to get your energy and the appropriate vibration to be the energetic match to that without the attachment of having it to come that way is a little bit more tricky. So the idea behind that is really sitting behind the uh, energy of what you want, make that decision in your in your head as a as a target, right? This is my target goal, but be unattached in the vibration of it. So adding the music piece to it, right? So if you write down what it is that you want and what your goals are and the whole visualization and trying to feel into the future doesn't work for you, get up, turn on your radio and just start dancing around the room thinking about your manifestation, right? Jam into whoever it is that you jam and thinking about putting yourself in that energy of woo you know, high vibes, whatever that is. Now, for some of you, you can imagine um, your manifestation or visualize it as you're, you know, 
rock into the sound, but you don't have to. The idea is to become the energetic match. The idea is to increase your energy and increase your frequency, expand your energy fields, and simply dancing, being in that vibration, singing out loud in your car, that is opening flows of abundance. That allows more things to come to you. That is an attraction factor. So don't get caught up on the whole, okay, here's what I want. I'm going to manifest the heck out of it. And all I do is tunnel vision, focus on it. Uh, and then I'm surprised that it doesn't happen. Well, it didn't happen because you didn't become the energetic vibration to it, right? Your visualizations, your feeling into it. Um, just wasn't happening. So if you get caught up in that, switch your tools, try something different. And today for one of my clients, <clears throat> what came in was music. It's such a simple thing, right? And we do it every day. It doesn't cost you anything to turn on the radio or to plug in your iPhone. And it doesn't cost you anything to dance around the room and raise your frequency right? That's how you become the match. So when you think about the next time, what your goals or what your plans are, what it is that you want to create and the, the visualization pieces aren't coming through, or you just can't feel today because you know, whatever is going on that might be blocking your emotional field isn't working. You know, and you, instead of sitting there and going like, Oh my God, there's nothing coming in. I'm drawing a blank. I can't manifest. I'm too depressed. You know, whatever that is, switch it up. Turn on the radio, make sure, put headphones in, blast them, don't ruin your ears, but I mean like have fun, right? Because it's that energy of dancing around, of singing at the top of your lungs like a lunatic, that is all helping you raise your vibration and become the energetic match to what it is that you desire, okay? So that was um, really cool. Sometimes when we focus too much on the visualization, on the people, on the money. Sometimes we get that tunnel vision and you become attached to, well, the money has to come in through this way. I have to imagine it coming in this way. I have to imagine this person signing up. I have to imagine, you know, this group filling up. Sometimes you don't. You just have to be the vibration, be the energy. That's what the universe is asking you to do is be the energy of abundance. And the energy of abundance is a feeling. And what makes you feel good? If visualizing makes you feel good, go for it. But if it doesn't and that doesn't work for you, raise your vibration. How do you do that? Dance. Get out there. Sing. Laugh. Watch comedy. These are things that actually open and expand your energy fields that we do every day. Do you think that people manifested all the time back you know, 3000 years ago um, <clears throat> by sitting and visualizing and focusing? Some people did, but other people didn't have that tool. So they still manifested. How did they do that? They became open. They became um, content with the present moment. They're in acceptance of what is and wanting more the universe knew that and they were just becoming energetic matches. They were just having fun, laughing with family, being at home, being in a state of gratitude, energy, you know, singing, dancing, um, trying to think community get togethers, having lunch with friends. I mean, these are things that actually make you feel good. So if you're blocking yourself or you can't visualize or you can't feel the energy, or step into that energy of what you want and what you desire. It doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. It just means you need to shake it up, right? Literally, shake it up. <laughs> Go get Taylor Swift's album, shake it up, and then blast it. And literally shake it up. Shake up your energy. Crack it open so that the flow can actually come through and the universe can deliver to you what you're asking for. So that is our two cents today.